All right, here's how to set up the Gravity Forms MailChimp plugin. So just to make sure you're using the right one, Gravity Forms MailChimp add-on. Let's see if this takes us to the right side. No, of course not, add-ons. And then you got the MailChimp add-on. Here it is, you have to own the plugin to get it to work, or to get it, but once it's installed, you go into your Forms, Settings. Down here you got MailChimp now, once it's activated. You need the MailChimp API key. So now you're going to jump over to MailChimp. You are going to grab your API key. Uh, got a few accounts here. So API key is found under account, under your profile, extras, API keys. You got all this here. If this is the first time you created one, then it's going to be empty. You don't have any API keys. Create a key. I always like to use the label here to remind me what I set it up for. So this is going to be the Gravity Forms add on. Uh, forms add on. Copy that, come back over here, paste it in there, save it. Now you will be able to come into your forms, go into your notification settings, or actually MailChimp settings, that's where I meant to go. MailChimp settings, we don't have a feed, let's create one. Add new does the same thing. MailChimp feed, you're just gonna select the list from your campaign. It auto pops up all this stuff. You fill out whatever your, your form is actually collecting, which this app form doesn't have to be collecting anything but an email. Leave double opt-in checked. It's a good way to prevent spam signups, which you don't want those in MailChimp or else you will get in trouble. The last piece is this enable condition, which I do appreciate if it is a checkbox on a larger contact form, like subscribe to our emails. And then you do an if statement on the conditional logic, but this one is just a straight sign up for newsletter, so they definitely meant to sign up for our newsletter. After that it's done, I do like to turn off the notification so that we don't get those anymore because they're going to go straight into good old MailChimp. That'll do it.